Hey friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. You guys, I <laughs> apologize. I have not done a budget video since December, I believe. Um, so much has been going on. Um, let me just catch you up just a little bit and we're going to jump right into the budget. My brother had ALS. He just recently passed and a couple of days after he passed, um, a good close uh, friend of mine from school friend passed away. It's just been a whirlwind, okay? And I've just got back in town maybe a couple of days ago. And I've been running to, before he passed, I was running to North Carolina, which is like five hours for me to check on him and spend those last couple of days with him. So I didn't have a lot of time budgeting and all that really kind of wasn't on my mind, but I have been you know, kind of trying to stick to my budget and implement some things that I'd like to do in the coming year. I had some budget things set up for you guys that I wanted to show you. And we're going to cover majority of those things here um, today. But um, that is what's been going on. Then I was sick, like for the second time in three months. Um, I've had like a sinusitis situation going on. So now I'm on... Um, Antibiotics for I have one more day of my antibiotics and cough syrup and the cough syrup just puts me down like down sleep So that's why I'm not showing my face today because I look a wreck But without further ado, let's get into this March budget now another disclaimer you guys I have not this is my budget book that I started the year off with and as you can see this was February nothing I just decorated it. That was it uh, January did we do any budgeting? Let's see a little but I didn't check it as you can see here I never came back and verified that all this was what was what um, I kind of did March and I had to kind of update my stickers and I saw where that was off and you guys this is what it came out to be I thought March was really pretty but I wasn't doing my budget in here I was not checking it I was over the stickers and um, I just didn't do anything. So I did more of my budgeting in my um, personal planner. And because this is what I carry with me every day, um, I just wasn't going in that planner, my um, Erin Condren. So this is where everything is. This is her, the meat, potatoes, all that great stuff. And I just like being able to have my budget on me at all times like I can keep up with um, my credit cards account this is a insert this in my shop here's another insert this in my shop and this is my weekly check-in all my this is my whole um, budget and finance section here here are my daily totals for work um, my spending trackers this was really really helpful for me um, I'll get into that later um, color coding my budget so that's something new that I'm doing on um, my bills I tried a CESAV budget um, thing it's not working for me um, actually I need to take that out I tried it it's, I that's why I developed my own budgeting things because I don't get a paycheck so I need things that work for me so um, that's why I have my own now the only thing that works for me is the spending tracker by um, peanut planner Co. but that's what's that's what it is so um let me find what we need to do to get started i just put it in here okay so this works what works for me is this is an insert from peanuts planner co and it just says monthly bills it's very simple to the point date details amount did you pay it or you didn't and i color code if i paid it and this was january this was february and i decided to add some extra things that i wanted to include which were my sinking funds my cash envelopes, things of that sort. So let's get into um, doing March. And up here it says month. So we're going to do that. I'm going to just take a few extra pieces and see what else I need. Also, how I've, I've been budgeting and it is working is going to my monthly overview. 
and this is as you can see i've kind of filled some things in let me zoom you in so here's where i put down what bills are due i've been trying to um like not um do too much because i want to do it with you guys so everything isn't included let me try to slide this out there we go and then i'll just put some slits in it so really these are kind of the two main things i need to do a monthly budget um is my monthly my monthly bills and then you guys if you follow me on instagram you know i have this little pouch um, this is where a lot of my color coding things go, my markers, um, page flags, um, things of that sort, some washi tape. I think I'm going to use that one. And then I have my little pouch here with stickers. So I'm going to see if I have my little budget stickers um, in here. Let's see. So this is pretty much what I use. Um, these are from the Happy Planner. I only have these out for like case I need for travel or something like that. And um, I think I have a travel day in March. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to set that to the side. Um, I have my Elaine Michelle Studios. Um, her payment things here, I use those. Even though I don't really pay like a water bill. I'm not a student loan yet. I'm going to start paying on my daughter's student loan probably next year. But my car payment, I mainly use it for that and for like health insurance. I think on here, one of these insurances, car insurance, I use that. And then these are from the planner spot and I'll use those. So the first thing we have on the 11th is the car note is due. So... I'm going to put that there. I might have to get another one. And I like to go ahead and just put the card notes that are due. And I have another one on the 20th. And then I have a personal loan due that day. So I'm going to put this little um, one here. Now, I have some stickers similar to these. Um, but I like the way these are. So I think this is something that I may add to my shop. Maybe, of course, nothing like it, but just something uh, similar. I have some and I may be bringing those back. Um, this day I have Jim, Two Buddy, Barclays, and Citibank all due on one day. So I'm going to use this do button. What I also was doing was using um, with um, my little dots. I know I have a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of going on in here. Hold on, let me find these dots. And I need to bring these to the shop. Um, I made those for myself to, like, um, know when a bill was due. So I still may, you know, use those. I'm going to use one for Aflac. Um, your budget doesn't have to be this complicated. I don't think this is complicated for me, but it just works for me. And actually, these were on my old uh, transparent paper. So, and I just again have to make it simple for me. I'm not your. I don't get paid like normal people. Um, I get paid cash daily, so I have to make it work for me and put it in a form that um, works for me. I don't know how many self-employed people I have that follow me. But um, if you're self-employed or you receive tips, things like that, I am here to help as much as possible. I don't think that one's stuck. So I have to do what works for me. So this is what we have. And then I know I have car insurance due this day. So I'm going to put another dot down and then I'll put these dots just kind of bring my eye. I know that if I see this black dot, then I have something due. Um, as you can see, I have, I decided to do a little color coding. So I highlight appointments in a pink um, 
smell liner to remind me that that's an appointment. Um, I decided to go ahead and get the cloth and paper subscription. So that's something new to my budget and I need to add that. Also, I decided to finally, I've been using, um, y'all excuse my broke nail, but I knew I had to get this video out for you guys. Um, I decided to pay do Canva. So I'm thinking Canva is going to come out. I did it like two weeks ago. That's up. I'm not sure. Um, tomorrow is the 7th. Um, I'm not sure. I'm just going to put a do sticker here. And this will be like for a reminder for me to, um, I did it about two weeks ago. I'm going to put it on the 10th. I'm just going to put Canva. That way I know it's coming out. But I already have a buffer in my account. And um, I've been enjoying that buffer there. It's been there for about a month and a half. And I'm loving it because now things are coming through. Like today, Schedule C came out. But I already knew that was coming out. So that was there. But my buffer is still there. So let's see, we have car insurance, XM Radio, GoDaddy, and Capital One, Gem. Uh, we have Canva, that's what's new. Um, all these things have been paid, Amazon, Schedulicity, uh, Wayfair, and Lane Bryant. So I'm gonna take, I'm just going through my planner, and I'm hoping this is, it, it makes sense to me. But I'm just hoping that it's not too frustrating for you guys. Okay, I'm just going to take this out from last month. We're going to pop these back in. No, let's leave these. No, let me pop that back in. And because my planner is so crowded, I'm really thinking about um, taking out January and February. But I like to follow up and see like what you know, came out when, because what I'll do, like if something comes out on the day, I'm kind of not expecting it. I'll go ahead and write it in. Or if I paid something ahead of time, I'll just go ahead and write it in. This is the way um, February came out. I didn't do a whole lot of deco. Um, this one, I know I was getting Etsy paydays. Um, I didn't include my Etsy paydays in March because um, I'm kind of re- vamping some things so i already know i'm not going to get a paycheck so i'm i'm good with that so i just didn't want to junk it up for no reason so this is what march is looking like um let me put this amount in here should be 218 That's some change okay sit there aside and so now i come over to my new expense which will be march And I always like to say that these are my fixed expenses. So I always kind of start off with my car notes. So 311 car note number one, and that's 181.60. 320 car note number two. 181.60. And then we have State Farm. Two eighteen zero. Um Wayfair. That's still on the second. That's already paid. And I should have just went and paid it off the last time. Um, see here, I have an amount that I'm not for sure about. So I'm going to, what I owe them, let me go to the actual Barclays City Bank. I'm gonna go ahead and put Lane Bryant since I'm already at that insert and I'll show you what I mean by the Lane Bryant insert. So here's the Lane Bryant insert. 
um, on my budget tracker. This insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. Uh, and as you can see, I put I did the minimum payment of thirty five dollars on two two. And actually, I pay. I need to do this again because I did a payment. It was like two twenty six. And I think I did another minimum payment. For some reason, I don't think I did. And then I'll do the math later on that. So I'm going to put 35 here because that's what I paid. And Wayfair, I think I did 50. Might be 40. I think I did 40. So I'm going to put 40. I don't own Victoria's Secrets anymore. I paid them off. Um, Schedulers just came out. That comes out on, what's today? Today is the 6th. And that's $20. Amazon on 3-4 that already came out. That was $12.99. Capital One. I actually kind of put some money. I just throw cap, uh, money on my Capital One because um, remember me telling you guys that the um, the bank is across the street from my job. Well, finally, when I ride through there, um, it's a little empty. And now I'm not as scared to just stop and just throw money in there. So now I just throw money in there. Um, the gym is $19.99, but I just put 20 Two buddy, which I haven't been using because I've been using my um, Mac Pro to upload my videos, and um, I need to add it to that. So I haven't been using Two Buddy. Um, three eighteen. I think I need to just sign in with it from there. Maybe that makes sense. Barclays. This Barclays bill, I definitely need to give a hundred to. Um, it's just really irritating because I don't know when I set it up. I set up something where like alert me if I go too close to my limit or whatever. And every time I use the egg on card, it alerts me and it makes me just nervous. It makes me feel like I'm over the account, you know, over my limit, which I know I'm not. Um, now my loan, I really want to pay off. No, um, Navy Federal Credit Union loan. I only owe four hundred dollars left. Um, that's due on the twentieth, but I really want to just kind of cut that in half. Oh, I have a T-Mobile bill due on the twelfth. Y'all, excuse my dog. Um, I've kind of made some arrangements with um, T-Mobile. And I'm trying to figure out how to get this bill down because my bill is almost, I think it's like the 20th. Um, my bill is almost $300 a month. So I was watching E. Michelle, I think on Instagram, and um, she was talking about taking, you know, certain things off. And I did, and I want to, um, I took some things off and I'm going to see how this bill is going to go after I pay this off. And then I'm going to pay off some things that we had. So I have XM Radio at $6.06. And Citibank. Now, I have $50 for them. But I did a promotion where if you pay off the first thing I bought it with, um, which was my laser printer, within six months at 0% interest, you know, you get that 0% interest. After that, I'm going to have to pay for it. And it ended up being like almost 280 something. And even though I've been giving them 150, 50, I don't, I guess the interest is eating it up. I don't know. But um, I want to just pay one lump sum of 283. So I'm going to leave that empty just to see what um, I actually give them. And that's due on the 17th. So I'm going to really try to pay that whole thing off. And I may go in the store and pay that. So I'm just going to leave that blank for right now. And then my other categories here, I have, oh, well, I have hubby. My main goal, you guys, of budgeting is to see where my money was going. This is something I never shared. 
um, but some of you have kind of picked up on it. Um, my husband has been paying the bills, all of the bills for probably the last 10 years. Um, when my business took a, a dive and I had to start from scratch, he took over. Um, we had to walk away from a house that I was paying way too much mortgage on, $2,500 a month, but I could afford it at the time that I got it. And so we kind of downsized, but not really because we kind of got the same house because we were in that upside down market. We kind of got the same house in a different location for half the price. So he pays all the bills. I just pay what I have, like a car note, car insurance and things like that. And um, so my main goal was to be able to at least give him half of what our mortgage is. And um, my husband is very good with money. He's much better than I am. And we were in a house maybe three years and he decided to refinance. And I'm thinking, oh, we're about to get some upgrades. He was like, no, Yoshida, I want this to be, if something was to happen to me, I want it to be enough where you should be able to afford it. And so our mortgage went from like 1700 down to like 1100 And we just refinanced at a lower rate and plus what we had already paid off. And so I want to at least be able to give him at least 700 half, you know, and I understand that everybody runs their household different, but I want to at least be able to contribute more. So I'm taking over groceries. So he's no longer going to be contributing to groceries, but um, to work my way up, I have 200. I like to give him towards some bills and things. And he's giving me some bills to here, pay the water bill, which isn't that much or whatever, but I just forget. And then again, um, my daughter, she's not his, but he treats her as his. She's in college, so a lot of my money goes to her. And he even helps me send money to her in college. So, you know, I can't, beggars can't be choices. So I just definitely want to be able to help um, more. And in my savings, I want to have at least 200. And to me, these things are feasible along with my, you know, daily budget. And my sinking funds. I need, I know I got a calculator here somewhere. Um, my sinking funds are 300 and we'll go over those later. And my cash envelopes. envelopes I'm like, can you spell, girl? They say 300, but um, I think my sinking funds need to be like two. Let me make that two. go back and do that way but the cash envelopes are definitely about three hundred dollars um this gym fee is just sitting here empty as you can see i'm gonna still add that because it's coming i just don't know when but it's that buffer is in my account waiting for it so this is what i had um last month i'm just gonna subtract um i'm actually not i was gonna subtract a hundred from it, but I'm gonna leave it the same. For one, I don't have my calculator. Everything should be the same. So it's $2,775.15. I'll redo the math once I get off, but this is my budget for the month. And I take this with me. This is what um, keeps me accountable. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's just what I need to keep me accountable. So this was, I like to keep this as reference. This was my January and February budget. So now I go into my little pouch here. Gray means bills, okay? That means that's what came out. So already, Schedulicity has come out. So I marked that through. Amazon has come out. Um, I've already paid. I just, oh, Lane Bryant. Yeah, I've already paid Lane Bryant and Wayfair. And it's fun for me to do this because I like to see, um, like, what bill I have left. Like, I just marked off um, two, buddy, I think. The last one that comes out normally, which is um, State Farm or two, buddy. Those are the last two. 
And like once those are gone, I'm like, I've paid everything. So I just like to see it all grayed out. Here, I didn't give hubby 200. We had to go out of town for my brother's funeral. Um, I did manage to put a little bit towards saving, but it wasn't 250. And um, sinking funds, I didn't do anything towards sinking funds. And that was another thing, you guys. Um, my cash envelopes, I've been having cash left over, but I've been going back and forth out of town. So gas has been eating it up. So I've been wanting to film my cash envelopes video with you guys. Um, I'm not for sure if I'll be able to do one tomorrow, which is Saturday, because um, this has been a slow week for me. I've been off pretty much all week. Today was my first day working, so I only worked two days this week. So all that will probably just go towards my booth rent. But um, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's see. Anything else I paid? Two by the gym. Did the gym come out? No, the gym hasn't come out yet. So that's that. So this is my March budget. I hope it was easy to follow. I'm sure as I get more used to um, budgeting this type of way that you all can understand. I've been doing it <laughs> since January, budgeting this way, really, to be honest with you. But um, I hope I'll get a little more um, at ease with showing you guys how I budget this way. And I'll have more, you know, things to show you. Um, also, while we're talking about it, let me show you my sinking funds, how I've kind of done those so you all know what my sinking funds are i mean i love budgeting this way you guys because um it's just plain you know for me to see um here's my debt snowball which i'm gonna probably go to avalanche eventually but um i did pay off some things um let's see <laughs> So here are my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. So grocery, um, I'm looking to do about 50 a week. Um, maybe a little more, I might need to raise that. My gas, which is about $40 a week. I've been doing that. As far as my cash envelopes, I've been paying cash for my gas, which has been really working for me. Um, miscellaneous is about 100 products um, for work. is about 75. Um, my sinking funds are my car maintenance which is 25. Y'all excuse me, I'm still a little congested. Um, dental, uh, medical is 20. Savings, about 20 to $50 a week. Um, Vegas is 50 to 75. That's spending money. And planning a better me is 50 to 75. I wanna be able to pay for planning a better me by April. And then Christmas is $25 a week. I kinda need to move this up here to my budget. Yeah, these sets of V's, as you can see, I need to just take them out. They're just taking up space. Um, they're not working for me. Um, maybe at a later date. I kept them in there so I could just kind of... Um, I need that one to, to hold by. Well, not really. That's my color key. But they're not working. And I maybe need to just sit down and look at them and figure them out. But they're just not really working for me. My, the way that I budget works best for me. This plane here, that works for me. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then here's my sinking funds and um, cash envelopes with the insert from my shop. So, let me put that there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I do have some goals that I want to complete. And I had this left over from a kit. So, I'll be including this somewhere and um we'll talk more about budgeting i'm still gonna be doing budgeting that's still my focus um it's just not in a decorative form anymore um i've taken all of my um stickers out as far as budget stickers i no longer have budget stickers but i have the budget inserts in my shop and i know some people really liked it i had some repeat customers but it was becoming a headache um not necessarily a headache let me say that it wasn't necessarily a headache. Um, I'm a slight perfectionist. And um, sometimes those cut lines are just not there. They're just not right. 
and it's hard for me to tell one may be right i'm like okay good this is a go and someone may get it and say oh my thing was off and to re have to resend that it costs so this is something inserts you can download okay and it's just simpler for me and i like it that way um i don't have any issues with people who have downloaded my inserts so far i have not had any issues so um that works better for me as far as budgeting um i'll do the stickers i will have some deco sheets because i'm doing more minimal planning now um i'll have more minimal planning items um let me show you some things that i've created we have these these are great for budgeting because you can just stick them on a day and check off if this bill is due this is the smaller one i do have these in my shop and I had one more thing. And I'm doing these now, but I'm trying to change the color. And um, so there are other options that you can um, find in my shop for your budgeting needs. Um, I, I just, again, would not be doing the um, budget stickers. And they weren't selling um, that well. It'd be some, but not like plenty. So it just, it was, just, it was costing me more paper. And I threw away more paper than anything so sorry this has been so long but i just kind of wanted to update you guys on what's been going on so that is march budget thank you all again so much for watching and stopping by if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell come back for more budgeting more minimal planning weekly check-ins all that great stuff i'd love to have you i'll talk to you soon bye